So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. So, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days? I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in the chat room, talking to some guy and pick what he wants at 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Who made these carrots? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. Gotta get up to that bridge. going up that hill. We can get to the bridge that way. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. No 
Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Don't spin out now. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Stay put. You got something, kid? All set. No, oh, sorry. Experiencing a little turbulence. Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Nathan, you're thinking know when Avery, I can open my too, eyes. and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the 
guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. to do it. Wow, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victory. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Damn. Oh, shit. Stop, stop. I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We 
do have the drop on him. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just wait your approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. The place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Way I imagined that. Nothing here.
Spread out. You asshole. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out there. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Down, one to go. Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Let's not get stuck here. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rafe's got the advantage there. I one second. I'll just wait with Sam. Let's roll. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me without. Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. <laughs> Uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. I got my own back when the warden decided, uh... Don't for now. Sure yeah. Make a picture of me. Give me a right. This is a right request. Every fight needs to be documented before we use explosives. <laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us. Get out of the way and let me take the goddamn picture.
Heads up, I had some. Go look and make sure. Got it. See what's in there. Sorry, you were saying? Um, oh, right. I got my own back when the Warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could... Check it out, boys. What is it? probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. Well, let you look at this. Quite the view. Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> It's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. <clears throat> Got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Sounds good. Be careful, kid.
The stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Sam, special delivery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm hmm. I see the people. Just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Let's get that bridge down. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? You know, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <clears throat> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. There we go. We're all set. Here we go. All right, hang on, guys. Uh -oh. Break? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Put the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Ah, ah that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Yeah, I'm almost. Now, let's find our way in. <laughs> 